We found through the years that weight training has become essential to putting on size, increasing power, increasing strength. The number one priority has to be injury prevention as well. So a lot of the exercises that I like to train with and prescribe, injury prevention is the number one priority for us in our training program. Hi, I'm Sam Warburton from SW7 Academy and here are our seven top exercises for rugby performance. first exercise would be a hex bar deadlift and some variations around that. It's a lot safer than a barbell deadlift. Your centre of gravity is slightly further back in your stance than it would be in a barbell, so it's much safer for your lower back. We also love to do a split stance hex bar row. So this is really nice because more often than not in rugby, you are not in that squat stance position, you're in a split stance position. So it's really nice to do some exercise in a split stance and similarly with the hex bar, you can move your center of gravity slightly further back when you're doing a bent over row as opposed to a barbell, which might put some stress on, low, on your lower back. So the hex bar is a slightly safer variation of a barbell bent over row. You can also use a hex bar as well for farmer's walks, farmer's carries, because carrying it should be something and moving forward and backward in that plane, you should be strong in that position as well. So the hex bar is perfect for that and for loading up significant weight, which you can't achieve with a dumbbell. The second exercise would be sleds and the variations around that. I absolutely love a sled push. You can do a double leg, but more often than not, when you're naturally pushing a sled, it's one leg at a time. Again, it's so much more specific to athletic performance, and it's a great way to put a lot of load through your legs without having to go under a barbell. So those of you regard injury prevention, and you'll notice a key theme, a lot of this is around in injury prevention, our exercise selection. There's very uh, a low amount of pressure on your lower back when you're doing a sled push. Sled pull is a little bit more quad dominant, and that's another great way where you can actually pull a sled and that's another really good way of loading up your legs without having to go under a barbell. So plenty of nice options to get strength work, power work, you can before them at a slower tempo with a heavier load to, for more strength emphasis or you can have a light load on that sled and move it really explosively for that power output as well. So you can mix it up depending on the volume you want to do, but a great tool. So the third piece of kit that we love to use is power block dumbbells. Now these are awesome because you only need one pair of dumbbells, but you can take the clip out, you can start it at four and a half kilos, you can drop the clip to the bottom, you can go up to 40, 50 kilos. You can do the lighter weight, which is great for using dumbbells like your shoulder rehab work, or you can drop that pin, use the whole dumbbell, and you can do your strength work like your presses or your rows. So we love them for our home gyms or for using them ourselves because they only take up this much room. You don't need a whole rack of dumbbells, but you can go from four kilos up to 50. So you can cover all the bases so a fantastic piece of kit. The next bit of kit we like to use as well is a core plate attachment. This is this blew my mind when I first saw this piece of kit from Absolute Performance because all you need to do, you pop it into a plate and you can just hook the barbell or slide the barbell into the end of it. Now it's endless the possibilities that you can do here with you can do uh, front squats, you can do bent over rows, you can do single arm presses. I love to do single arm presses and I like to do core work with it like half moons because it is so deceptive how much you use your core when you're standing upright or whether you could be in a kneeling position and you're doing pressing movements or rowing movements because it's obviously a unilateral exercise so you're using one arm at a time to keep your hips still requires a massive amount of core activation to make sure you stay square so you're getting your pressing needs in as well and you're getting your core stability work so the core play is a vital tool so when you're training for rugby, you need to do unilateral exercises as well, but you also need to train your limbs together. And this is where the barbell comes in. If you just want the foundation for all your strength, barbell is just the king. You need the barbell to set that foundation of strength. If you can have a good strength foundation, then you can move on into more power type work. So the barbell, you've got your bench presses, your, your standing military press, obviously barbell back squat. Those of you who want some more power focus, you've got all your clean variations, hang cleans, power cleans. Snatches, the barbell is the king for that. So we obviously integrate barbells as the spine of our program, and then we like to int introduce unilateral movements off the side of that, but the barbell should be one of the foundational movements that you have in all of your training programs. The plyo box is a fantastic bit of kit because we've talked a lot about strength, but then to get the power transfer, you need to do things like plyometric training. So jumping up onto a box is great. Also very specific for rugby, particularly like a line out jumper, or even for your acceleration. You can develop a lot of speed in the gym from doing power work in the gym. So 
plyometric box jumps and all the variations of plyometrics around that where you can get a lot out of a plyo box. So being able to move weight fast, it could just be your body weight, but being able to jump up explosively onto a box will really help your power development. And then we also got slam balls. Now slam balls are brilliant. I would always recommend slam balls rather than a medicine ball because slam balls, you can launch them as hard as you want to the ground. They're so safe because they're not going to bounce back up at you. So specifically slam ball I'm talking about here. So with slam balls, you can do like overhead slams into the ground. You can do single arm presses. You can do double arm presses. There's so much you can do with a slam ball. And again, it's all geared towards more that power end of the continuum. So power balls are something you can use as, it could be used at the start of a session to fire up your nervous system. You can start the session with some power exercises, or you can combine it with strength exercises as well. So you sort of get that PAP, post-activation potentiation, which is really good for developing strength and power simultaneously. Also, the other great thing about slam balls as well as the kettlebells and the power bags is that they're waterproof easily cleaned you can move them onto the pitch you can use them for warm-up so really good bit of kit don't just have to use inside the gym you can use them outdoors as well so they're good